good morning, everyone. How are you? Ah, we've been working on the temple in Jerusalem, and we're almost done with it. Is that exciting? Ezra came here back to Jerusalem after we were in Babylon for so many years, and he helped us to rebuild the temple, and we're almost done. That's really exciting. But you know, I'm still kind of worried because there's still some of the Jews who are worshiping idols, even though that's the whole reason why we went to Babylon. And some of the enemies around Jerusalem, they don't want us to rebuild the temple and the walls. So, in fact, there's one guy around here. He's a little shady, and I don't know. It makes me kind of worried, but I just hope everything will be okay. So. Hey! How's it going? Hey, I'm talking to you. Yes. It's uh, Joe, Justin. Joe yeah, Abba. Joe, yeah, Joe Abba. So anyhow, listen, I was looking around. You remember me. I'm Sam Ballet. I was looking around, and uh, your temple's coming along pretty good there. Yeah, it's looking kind of nice. You guys been working hard, huh? Yeah, we're almost done. Yeah, except uh, you never got back to me. I wanted to help you build it. I wanted to help you build this thing. No, listen, listen, Sandra. No, but I want to help. Yes, I understand, but we're trying to just keep people away who are worshipping idols. Uh, what? We're... What do you mean? Worshipping idols? Yes. I mean, why would you... Wait. You, are you talking about me? Yes, look, look at your hand. What? No, no, this is just an idol. I mean, I mean, just because I got an idol doesn't mean I worship an idol. Although, all right, fine, I worship idols. But listen, what's the big deal? You know, you think I'm going to make other people worship idols or something? Just, just because I've been telling people to worship idols? Yes, and we have kind of a hard time staying away from worshiping idols, so we're really trying to stay true to what God wants oh, us to do. No, that's not fair. You guys are not being fair. We want to help, you know? You should let us help. If you're not going to let us help, then maybe we're going to, you know, cause some problems for you. You know. Is that a threat? No, why would I need to make a threat? I'm just saying, you know, it'd be, it'd, be, it'd be a shame if somebody came around here, you know, a nice temple you guys have built, it looks really nice, and you don't have a wall around it, you know, your city, still wide open, kind of dumb, you know, if I were me, I would have built the wall first, then I would have built a nice beautiful temple, but you got a nice temple, no walls, it'd be sad if somebody just decided to come in here, you know, Take a hammer, hit the temple a little bit, maybe start a little fire, you know, you never know. You wanted to build God's house first so we could worship him there. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, you, you do what you got to do. I'm just saying, you know, you never know. Some other people might get upset if they weren't let to help, you know, build the temple and stuff. They might, might get angry. See what I mean? Big trouble causer. He does not want us to rebuild Jerusalem. <sighs> I'm really worried. I don't know what's going to happen. And yes, we're almost done with the temple, but he's right. We don't have a wall to defend ourselves. What are we going to do? And some of the people aren't working very hard. I mean, now that the temple's almost done, they seem like they're just worried about building their houses and not really worried about trying to defend this place. I wonder what's going to happen. You know, I've been praying for God to, to help us, maybe to send somebody to help. I don't know. <clears throat> um, excuse me. Um, yes. Hi. Um, hi. My name is Nehemiah. Nice to meet you. Hi. And uh, I was wondering, uh, are you in charge of the uh, work going on around here? Uh, yeah. We're we're almost done with the temple over here. Wonderful. Wonderful. I, I'm very glad to hear that. I've been I've traveled a long way to see this temple. You have? Yes, I where, did. Where have you come from? From Persia. Let me tell you all about it. So. Um, I actually, I've been serving the king there. I'm a Jew, but... You I, are. Yes, yes, but I'm a, I, I, was, I, I grew up there. You know, my parents were taken captive back when the Babylonians took over. Okay. Well, I've been serving King Artaxerxes there. I work in his palace, and, you know, I heard the, the good news that you guys were trying to build a temple, but I also heard the sad news that there's still a lot of people worshiping idols, and... Yeah, we just can't seem to finish it and, and get going. I don't know. It's just, I know, it's I mean... Tough. And there's a beautiful temple now, but there's no wall around it to protect the city. And it made me so sad. I told the king, and he told me I could come and check on the progress and even, well, hopefully help you guys get more done. I mean, maybe oh, maybe great. building the walls and so yeah, on. Yeah, that would be so awesome. Well, then we should do it. Okay. Look, I, I have permission from the king to get supplies to help you guys out. Ooh. Yes. I, w could you use more things? Yes. Like some wood, oh, yes, some stone? Yeah. Oh, I can get that. We've been running out of stuff, and 
not, we didn't know where to get it. I have official permission to get some of those oh, things great. for you. Tell you what, I'll go. It uh, looks like you could probably use another load of lumber delivered over to that corner of the yeah, wall. Yeah, and then we need more stone for the stone wall. Stone as well? Yeah. Well, let me work on what I can get for you. Okay. I'll, I'll check back with you in a little while, okay? Great. All right. Uh, what was your name again? Joaba. Joaba, I'm yeah. Nehemiah. Nice to meet you. Oh, is that awesome? What an answer to prayer. Nehemiah has come all the way from Persia. And he's going to help us. And he can get supplies. Oh, this is great. And with his help, and if he can encourage the other people, we should be able to be done in no time. We can get this wall up. Hey, what are you doing? Hi, Sandalot. You building stuff still? Yes. What are you no, building now? Huh? We're, we're working on the wall. Oh, yeah? Oh, I can't think of any reason to do that. Unless... Maybe. Maybe you're trying to, you know, rebel against the king of Persia? Hmm? We are not trying to do any such thing. Oh, yeah? Well, it seems to me, you know, if you have permission to come and build a temple, you're done building the temple. Who said you can build a wall, huh? Actually, hmm. Nehemiah came straight from Wait, Persia. Wait, who is he? Nehemiah. I never heard of him. He came straight from Persia and has a direct paper from King Artaxerxes. Telling us we can rebuild the wall and even giving us supplies from the chain. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's really nice. Well, I'm glad he's saying that. Did you actually look at that paper? Hmm? Well. Yeah. Yeah, anybody can have paper. As a matter of fact, I have paper. And I might decide to use that paper. You know, maybe I'm going to tell the king, you know. Hey, dear kingy, the people in Jerusalem are building a wall because then they're going to make a fortress and they're going to rebel against you. That is not true. It's true if I write it on paper, isn't it? Yeah. That you get from letting me help you build your little temple. So, good luck. I'm going to go warm up my writing hand and see if I write me a letter. Oh, man, he's just so frustrating. What if he writes to the king and the king believes him? Those are all lies. We're not trying to rebel. Oh. Hey, what's going on? I, I, the oh, work isn't going on. Yeah. What, what, why did you stop? Listen, yes? Sandalot and some of his people. Wait, who? Sandalot? Sandalot? Yeah, he's one of the enemies of Jerusalem. He wishes okay. idols, and he doesn't want us to finish building Jerusalem. Oh, dear. And uh, he said he was going to write to the king and tell him we're rebelling, that we're building a fortress, and then we're going to just rebel against him and not, not listen to he's him. He's going to write a letter, huh? Yes. Hmm, well, it's a good thing I already had the king write a letter, an official letter that says right here, I, King Artaxerxes, give permission for the Jews to rebuild the wall and to obtain supplies from my official forests and stone quarries to rebuild it. Wow, that's really the king's signature. That's and the king's seal, isn't signature it? and signet ring seal. That's right. So wow. Artaxer uh, uh, Artaxerxes will pay no attention to uh, what did you say his name was? Sam Bullock. Sam Bullock. Yeah. So you know, don't worry about that guy. He's he's just a little weenie. Don't be afraid, because above all, God is with us. Just like God got the king Cyrus to send people to build the temple, he now is sending me and others here to help build a wall for Jerusalem. God is on our side. We don't need to worry about that. Yeah, Fellow. Right. Right? That's right. So listen, we're going to set up for more building. I want you to start uh, working on uh, getting a frame set for the gate over on the east side. Okay. And then I've got a, I've got a, uh, got to make a connection with a guy who's got some stone. We'll get some of that delivered very soon. Okay, okay? great. Thanks, Amy. Yeah, don't worry about that guy. All right, good. All right. Now we can get back to work and really get some stuff done. Oh, Nehemiah is such a big help. God sent him here at just the right time. Oh, this is going to be so good. <laughs> oh, boy. Ah, what are you doing? Hi, Sandalot. What are you doing? We're building the gate for the wall. Yeah, well... You listen to me, Joe Baba. What was your name again? Joe Baba? Yeah, Joe Baba. So listen here. You think you're going to get some wall building done? You guys can't build for nothing. Look how long it took you to build this temple, all right? You guys are disorganized. You're distracted. You're disoriented. In other words. And anyways, you don't even have enough right tools. You don't have the right supplies. I'm not worried about you guys. You guys can't get nothing done. Go ahead. Let me see how you, let me see how you handle it, huh? Nehemiah is getting stuff for us. Nia, who's it? Nehemiah. Yeah, I didn't worry about no Nehemiah. Because he reminded us that God is on our side. God will help us. Yeah, well, what if the king isn't on your side, though? King gets my letter. Mm -hmm. He's going to be right down here. He's going to be like, stop building. You get out of here. God, God will work for us. 
All right, fine. You want to be that way about it? And you can trust in your God, but I'm going to trust in a little something I like to call my slicey dicey. Yeah, that's right. You never know. You guys are so busy building now on this pathetic little wall, you know, ain't got nobody guarding the place. I could just, I mean, not me, somebody could just, you know, come over here sometime when you're not watching, you know, you're just busy hammering and doing whatever, and all of a sudden, stabby stab! Yeah, that's right, you never know, I mean, it could happen, I'm just trying to warn you. You know, you don't have any guards set up anywhere, what if somebody comes in the night, besides like, start a little fire over here, you know, just all of a sudden, whoosh, your temple burns down! You know, that's... Are you threatening us again? You know what? Maybe a little bit. I'm just telling you to watch out for yourselves. Keep on insulting me and not want to let me help. Not, not let me use the hammer. Just watch your back. Oh man, this is not good. How are we gonna work? That just makes me really nervous. What if he's, what if he's uh, not behind those trees over there, or? Behind that wall, those stones over there. And just uh, Giovanna. Ah! Got up! What's the <laughs> matter? <laughs> you scared me, Nehemiah. Oh, I'm, I'm very sorry. I, 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 I certainly didn't mean to. Um, I, I was just coming to ask if maybe you could use some weapons. Yes, listen, Sandalot was just here and he's threatening Who's us. That? Sandalot. Oh, Sam's ladder? So listen, um, I've got these swords oh, that the oh, king said. So, so if you want to use one, yes. uh, and I can take one, and in fact, you say he's threatening? Yes, he had his sword, and he was talking about what if fire started in the temple, or he somebody came and started attacking us. I mean, mm -hmm. we can't defend ourselves. I mean, I guess I could throw this hammer, but I mean, against a sword, what good is it going to do? No, you're very right. Well, it's a good thing that the king had planned ahead for this too, and had us bring weapons. I'll tell you what we need to do then. We're not going to let his threat stop us. No. God is behind this, and he wants it to happen. So what we will do is, every single person who's working will also have a weapon with them. Yeah. Whether it's a sword, a spear, a bow and arrow, and then, well, it's hard to work with a with a sword in one hand and yeah, a hammer in the other. Yeah, that's so, going to be very hard. Mm, we'll pair up. We'll have buddies. You, each person will have a buddy. I'll be yours. And then, okay. Yeah. What will happen is, when one person's working, the other person will be watching with their sword out in case anybody's coming to attack. And then they'll take turns. Oh, and, and, and I'll get some men who can stand up on the corners of the walls with trumpets, and they can be watching so that when, if they see anything happening, they can blow a trumpet, and then we'll all rush over there to defend that part of the wall. Okay. Because we're not going to let... What's his name again? Sandalot. Stun Ballet. We're not going to let him be the one to scare us off from doing this. God wants us to get this project done, and it doesn't matter what anybody else says, okay? Okay. All right, now, let's get some work done. I need help uh, getting the rest of that gate done on the, east, on the eastern corner. Okay. So bring your tool and your wood, and let's get over there and get that finished. All right. Wow, that guy with the weird hair, he was being real mean, wasn't he? He was trying to stop them from building those walls. Why was he trying to stop them, do you think? So, so everybody could That was actually part of it. He was trying to keep them from worshiping God in the temple because he really wanted them to come and join him in worshiping the idols. And there was another reason, too. He was jealous. He didn't like the fact that the king of Persia was letting them build a nice temple and have their nice city back. He wanted to have their city for himself. He wanted all of their things. So he was hoping that they would forget to build a wall, and that they would forget to pay attention to the details, and then he could take over. But would God let that happen? God didn't let that happen. God was watching out for them. Even though Nehemiah and the workers, they weren't very, they, they weren't very strong. They didn't have a lot of strong soldiers. They didn't have a lot of training. But yet, they were going to follow what God said no matter what, so that they could get the job done. Sanballat tried to make fun of them. He tried to make threats at them. He tried to trick them. But every time, they would just listen to what God was telling Nehemiah, and they would follow God's instructions that Nehemiah would bring to them, and they got the wall done. And you know, eventually, they actually got the whole wall around Jerusalem done, and they had a great ceremony praising God and thanking Him for helping them to get the, ceremony, to get the wall com uh, completely built. Now, of course, that doesn't mean everything was perfect. Still, many of the people in Jerusalem chose to worship idols. And sadly, again, they would end up getting consequences for choosing not to follow God. But, 
whenever they would choose to listen to what God said, things would go well. Now, the next time we have our Bible skits, we're going to go on to a couple other stories about people who stayed back in Persia during that whole time that Nehemiah was building the wall, and we'll find out what happens with them and whether they chose to listen to God too. But no matter where you are, what you're doing, what project you're working on, I want you to remember, if you listen to what God is telling you and you follow His instructions, instead of listening to people who are laughing at you or telling you, don't go to church, why are you a Christian? Yeah, it's dumb. If you listen to God's voice and you follow Him, you will be safe and He will take care of you. He'll get you through everything. All right, let's have a quick word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much that you watched out for Nehemiah and Ezra and the people in Jerusalem as they built the temple and built the wall. Thank you that when we are listening to your, to your instructions and following what you say, that we know that you are watching over all the details and you'll take care of us, even if the people that are against us might seem scary or mean or more powerful than us. Thank you that we get the opportunity to follow you and to listen to what you tell us to do. We love you very much. Amen.